There we go. <clears throat> a sergeant accused of twice assaulting him, a man in custody told the court he believed the prisoner had a weapon and genuinely posed a threat. So here we go yet again. You know, the fantasies of the great British police person, woman, man, whatever. And there he is. There's a thug. I'm not even going to give him the dignity of calling him a psychopath or a sociopath. I'm just going to say he's a normal person who enjoys hurting people, will make fantasies up about why he did what he did. So, to me, that means he should get the full weight of the law on him. Regarding him as a sociopath or a psychopath or one of the deviant personalities, doesn't help the case of showing the corruption and showing the deception and the lies the great British police are willing to do. Now in this case, it's actually good because one of the other officers <coughs> doesn't defend him. And where is it? <coughs> but instead the, the sergeant put the prisoner in an arm lock from behind. Yeah, that's the, the favourite one they use. And she tried to drag him to the floor. In the ensuing struggle, he was concerned the prisoner would bite or spit at him or colleagues as he had been arrested for biting an officer. I didn't trust him one bit. No, you don't. You coward. So, you know, it, it's just it's just astonishing <clears throat> that these people are actually believed. And you have to sort of like take a step back and say, well, okay, let's have a look. When a man's in prison or in jail or in the cells, it doesn't really take that much to control somebody if you know what you're doing and if you follow your training. Control and restraint is a very easy thing to learn. What is not easy, what makes it not easy to learn is your personality, the way you look at it and the intention to sort of like to use this power that you've learned in control and restraint to subdue somebody that doesn't need subduing. 99 times out of 100, a force used by police towards members of the public is excessive, unwarranted, and it's an unlawful attack. There are a plethora of, of YouTubes out there that explain this and show it. And it also shows you from one extreme to another how violent they can be so you know his police force send an email get involved get involved if you can't get involved any other way then get involved by sending an email <sighs> it was never intended it to be a stamp, there was no pressure, he told the district judge. <laughs> what bullshit lies. <clears throat>